And now the other major headline this Friday night, the deadly coronavirus soaring in numbers tonight. A new case here in the U.S. The CDC now confirming a second case, a woman in Chicago. In fact, 63 patients are now being tested here in the U.S. for possible symptoms across 22 states. And alarming new video tonight from China showing patients crowded into the Wuhan Red Cross Hospital. The staff in hazmat suits tonight, China reporting dozens of deaths, more than 900 people infected worldwide. And tonight, China has ordered a new hospital be built in just 10 days. Here's ABC's Steve Osinsami. Government health officials tonight say that without a doubt, more Americans will be diagnosed with this deadly virus in the coming days. The latest confirmed case here is a woman in her 60s from Chicago. She returned from China last week and felt sick three days later. She has limited close contacts, all of whom are currently well and who will be monitored closely for symptoms. Another American patient in Seattle who was hospitalized in a biocontainment unit could be released in a few days. We used the highest level of protection that we have available to treat this patient as one would uh, Ebola. The CDC is now running tests on 63 sick patients from 22 states, including one at Texas A&M and College Station. Health officials are going to be terribly busy at these five U.S. airports when flights from the affected regions in China resume. Already, they've screened more than 2,000 travelers. This is a scene from the Seattle International Airport. Passengers tell us the gift shops ran out of face masks early this morning. Our focus right now is on travelers returning from Wuhan, but the situation is changing rapidly and we're continuing to assess and we'll make new guidance if needed. From the center of this outbreak, the Chinese are now rushing to build a new hospital from the ground up in just 10 days. Dozens of workers are there now with heavy equipment. There is this disturbing video posted on social media from Wuhan's Red Cross Hospital. Those are medical staff members in hazmat suits and covered bodies lying on the floor. Today is the biggest holiday in the country, the Chinese New Year, and cities in the hot zone are on lockdown. Police are armed with long guns, making sure no one enters or leaves. Our correspondent Ian Panel is traveling through the region. All but two provinces in China now have cases. Pretty much the whole province of Hubei, which is the epicenter, is in lockdown. All airports, rail, buses and river ports. That's around 30 million people effectively grounded. At least 41 people have died, more than 900 infected. The virus has spread as far as France, where there are now at least three known cases. Let's get to Steve. He's in Atlanta at the CDC tonight. And Steve, flights from the region where the outbreak originated from are, are no longer coming into the U.S. That'll be reassuring here at home. And while the virus has spread to several other countries, officials are urging calm globally and here in the U.S. Well, David, health officials are here at the CDC say they're approaching this as a serious threat to public health. But at the same time, they say based on the information they have in front of them at this point, they believe that the general risk to the American public is low. David, we will stay on it. Steve, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.